Hey everybody, welcome back to the table. I got a doozy of a video and a knife for you today. So no pulling the punches here. <laughs> now most of my videos are positive because I almost always make videos about knives that I buy myself with my own money. And of course, I'm only gonna buy knives that actually look interesting and look like things I know I'm going to like. Enter Kickstarter. <laughs> and more specifically, here we have the clip lock knife from Kickstarter. So I bought this one because it has something of a new and unique locking mechanism, and I love the idea of trying out something that is new to the knife world. But something went amazingly and spectacularly wrong here. On first glance, you might look at this knife and think, oh, it's, it's a nice looking knife. It has this wire clip, that's cool. But even when I open it up for you slowly and show you the knife with the blade opened, it looks like a decent knife. And this is really as much as we saw on the Kickstarter campaign. But once you actually have this knife in your hands and play with the usability of the thing, this is where it all falls apart. So the clip lock is the feature here. So let's take a look at that first and foremost. First, we're gonna notice that the clip is placed on the side for left-handed carry. So never mind that the media on the Kickstarter campaign showed the clip on the right-hand side. Maybe the clip is reversible, maybe not, <laughs> but that's such a small complaint here. I could live with it, regardless of how the clip is placed. The clip also has a significant amount of side-to-side -side wiggle when, when it's in, in action or just sitting here on the handle. Now, let's take a look. This knife has thumb studs, as we can see right here. That implies that you can open said knife with thumb studs. Can I do this? No, of course not. <laughs> the clip lock is essentially a two-hand opener. You need to pinch the clip inward with one hand and then use the other hand to open the blade. The thumb studs never actually come into play here, and I'm not exactly sure why they're even on the knife. But all of that said, I could potentially live with a two-hand opening knife. I mean, hell, every slip joint is a two-hand opener, and there are no issues with that at all. But here is where the knife falls completely flat on its face. Yes. Take a look at this. <laughs> the knife locks open at 45 degrees. So there is a notch specifically designed to lock the blade when it has reached not the halfway point through its travel, but the one quarter point. So one quarter of the way open, it locks shut, it, it locks in place. And it does this whether you open or close the knife, both ways. <laughs> this has to be one of the worst features on a folding knife that maybe I have ever seen. I mean, this knife is actively trying to make you cut yourself when opening and closing it. This is garbage. <laughs> of course, if you go browse through the Kickstarter page for this knife, you can see other buyers of this knife sharing the same sentiments that I am here. And now the creator actually tries to defend himself and somehow tries to claim that the knife locking itself open at 45 degrees is somehow a feature and not a bug. I am convinced though, <laughs> that whatever Chinese factory produced these knives simply mistakenly added this early quarter stop. And by the time the knife designer figured this out, it was just probably too late to make any changes to the production. So we are just left with an entire run of what should be factory second knives, if even that. Total garbage. <laughs> and oh, and by the way, did I mention the blade still here is 440A. Lovely. So call me a sheep, YouTube, because I just got fleeced. <laughs> you know, is there anything positive about this knife? Sure. Uh, the G10, it feels nice. It has a smooth but uh, high quality feeling texture. Feels good in hand. Um, I do like the clip point shape of the blade. Very nice looking. And the box, um, I guess it has instructions on it. <laughs> you know though, I'm not gonna even bring out any knives to compare this knife to. Here's the box if you wanna see the specs. Um, so I would just say avoid the clip lock knife for now. You know, maybe avoid it forever. <laughs> I'm gonna save this knife though, it's a curio. It's a reminder that not every knife and not every lock design is going to be a hit. So don't buy this, guys. Just don't. You know, for $60. No, sir, I don't like it. And with that, 
share your thoughts in the comments below. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.